I am finally releasing my cut garden dress and I'm excited and terrified, so let's get into that. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. Like I said, I'm finally releasing that cut garden dress. I'm also filming in my office space, which is just how the cookie crumbles for this video. So I'm sorry I'm so close to the camera. You're gonna be hearing cars go back, back and forth in the background and, and whatever, but this is just how this video is gonna be getting done. So we are releasing the cart garden dress. It has been about a year or so in the making because it's my first pattern. So everything had to get figured out, right? Like the envelope, the, the printing, the this, the that, the all of it had to get figured out. Um, and I am ex so excited about releasing it. There are a number of different options you can you can do with this dress. I have designed it such that you can take it and run with it, but you can also just completely copy it, you know, as is, and I think that's beautiful too. I think it's beautiful. I think, you know, I designed the dress. I'm a little biased. But um, you can take this and, you know, instead of doing cut work, you could do shadow work. You could just do the outline of the flowers, and that would be so pretty. I think the outline of the flowers, like if you wanted to do it with beads, I think that would be so cool, like such, you know, like little delicate beads or whatever. I think that would be beautiful. Um, you could just use it as shapes and have, you know, ribbon insertion or lace or, or whatever, a lace tape. I it on one number. Um, I, there's so many different things that you can just look at it as shapes, as building blocks for you to take it and run with it. I've been saying that on my channel since the beginning and I truly mean it and here we are for my first pattern and I'm telling you take it and run with it. Although if you just straight up copy it, that is pretty too. So I'm excited to see everyone's makes with this. Now there are a number of things that are different with this pattern. First and foremost being the envelope. I am so proud of this envelope. I went through a number of different like, should we do this? Should we do that? Because let's face it, I've been so, I mean, sewing so envelopes just in general, they just suck, okay? <laughs> let's like, let's not even beat around the bush. I've been sewing for, I don't know, 15 some odd, maybe 20 years. I, how old am I? I don't know. But, um, Generally, you have this big wad of tissue that you're trying to fit back into this tiny little envelope. They're like, what, four by six or something? It's just like, come on. Now, the bigger envelopes, there are a number of pattern lines that use that bigger, um, uh, like, plastic envelope. And I think that's a better solution. But I just thought, you know, there's got to be, it's got to be something better. So. I went down a huge rabbit hole and I went to options that were already, you know, that were readily available, already made, didn't like any of those. And then I thought, let's just custom make this stupid thing. So that's what we did. We've got a whole gusset that runs the entire length of the envelope, like it doesn't taper down. Um, and you just slide the pattern back in. There's no fighting with this envelope. The envelope, it'll fit on a bookshelf. It'll fit on a, it, are, it will fit in, <laughs> in a filing cabinet. I like to use a filing cabinet to store my patterns. So I made sure that was, a, was an option. And it's heavy duty card stock. It's got a snap on the back so you can close it. And I'm just, I'm just tickled pink with it. So I really, really wanted to print directly onto the envelope, but that was a whole nother rabbit hole in of itself. And I really tried to get it, but for now, um, there is a solution, but I'm just starting out and for now we're gonna have to go with the sticker. So besides that, I think it's pretty good. Um, and you know, the sticker is what it is because I'm just starting out. So another thing that is way different, and this goes from just being on the YouTubes for about five years doing sewing tutorials, is that there are no written instructions. I started my YouTube channel, like I said, about five years ago, and I'm not really sure why I started it. I've always loved to sew, to sew and I just wanted to share. I was a, a new mother and I just wanted to share, you know, stuff and it was, thought it would be something fun to do. But having everybody's feedback just really kept me going. And one of the things I kept hearing over and over again, um, and I mean in hundreds of emails, if not thousands over the last five years, is how, um, how easy things, 
how the video, what am I trying to say? How the video, seeing, seeing something for the first time in a video format is so much easier to follow than in written instructions. Um, so I am not talking bad about any pattern companies that use written instructions. I mean, at some point that was all we had, right? And te as technology has improved, as cameras have become more readily available, and I'm able to, you know, we're able to upload things to YouTube for free and all that sort of stuff, like, Things, times have changed, so I think that a video tutorial, particularly if you are a beginner, is just the way to go. So, and like I said, I've heard from a number of you over the years, <laughs> hundreds if not thousands. So I am doing a detailed construction video with the idea that if you are an absolute beginner, you should be able to follow this video and it should be able to walk you through the construction process of this dress. On the flip side, if you are somebody who is an experienced um, experienced in sewing, then you may not want to watch, you know, watch this video, and I don't blame you. Why would you want to watch myself if you already know what to do? You know, if you already know things like placket and understitching and all of that, French seams, all of those sort of stuff. So for, for people who fall into that category, what I have is a road map because you already know how to drive, you just want to know the various paths that you can take to get to the destination that you want. Does that make sense? So it is a road map. You can follow it and go, oh, I want to do these embellishments, and so I'm gonna go this path, you know? And you can make it your own and all of that sort of stuff because you already know how to sew. So there's two different, two different ways um, that we're cutting this cake, and the video will just be released to the public. I'm not doing anything behind a paywall. Um, it'll just be released to the public. So if you have any hesitation on buying this pattern, please wait until you see all the videos. And I'm as transparent as I can be. I, you know, I don't want any sort of buyer's remorse or anything like that. I, I just want to be as upfront, transparent with everything. So you can wait and see the videos and then purchase the pattern afterwards if you still feel so inclined. And it is printed on tissue. Have I mentioned that? That was a whole nother rabbit hole that, <laughs> that my husband and I went down to get. I really, really wanted it to be pr printed on tissue. And so it is. It's on white tissue paper. Um, I so wanted it to be in color, but that was a whole nother rabbit hole. So it is in black and white. But um, sorry, that's the guys working on the railroad. The live long day. <laughs> Anywho, as far as sizing goes, I believe this is as true to size. I have referenced a number of pattern companies, all the way from Vogue to the Little Heirloom guys, everyone in between, probably about 20 different pattern companies, just trying to get a sense for you know how sizing is defined. I also have kiddos of my own, and I've been taking their measurements for a number of years, but. Um, I also <laughs> reference the American Academy of Pediatrics. They've got a number of growth charts, and I try to interpolate things um, so that we were at 50 percentile, you know, whole rabbit hole with sizing. And I, like I said, to the best of my ability, I believe that it is true to size. It is one of the things that I'm terrified about releasing, but... Um, Sometimes you just gotta go for it. So <laughs> I have done so many different muslins and I have tried them out on my kiddos. I have referenced them to other things. I've also made a number of actual garments. Everything goes together just fine. I am like 99% sure that the puzzle all fits together fine and there's no errors there, but you know, I am just me and it is my first pattern. So if there is an error, which I am terrified that there might be, but I've looked it over and looked it over, so there's nothing more on my end for me to do. But if there's an error, I will make it right. Don't worry about that. The part that I'm terrified about is not, you know, the act of making an error. It's that you're on the receiving end of that error, and I don't want to be causing anybody frustration. I have received a number of those emails as well throughout the years from other pattern companies causing people frustration and I do not want to be one of those. So that is my like, I'm a little bit terrified to do this, but we are going to go ahead and do it. I have checked it over. I have dotted all my T's and crossed, no, I have dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's. So we are just going to go forward with it. 
It's on my website. If you have any questions, of course, please put them down in the comments below. If you are hesitant at all about buying the pattern, please watch the videos that are to come in the following days. I appreciate everyone's support and encouragement over the last year about releasing this thing. And at some point, I wanted to scrap the whole thing, but we are going for it. So thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you all in the next one.